Woke Hollywood has been on strike for over four months now, and it doesn't look like there's any end in sight. Because quite frankly, for one, the studios don't seem interested in negotiating right now, and two, the fans simply don't care. People haven't been clamoring to get their shows back. People aren't out there supporting the writers and the actors. Most people have simply found other forms of entertainment. But now is the time when people are starting to struggle and lose their homes and all these things that woke Hollywood starts to turn on each other. They start to tear each other apart because some people are actually getting back to work and the rest of the union workers who are standing together, they don't like that very much. So now Drew Barrymore has found herself the target of a massive mob of pro-union people who are pissed that she is starting her show once again. Drew Barrymore slammed by Hollywood actors and writers for bringing talk show back amid strikes. Gross, scab, incredibly disappointing. And when Drew Barrymore announced a few days ago that she was bringing this back, there was just a wave of backlash. Now, to be clear, for her to do the show, that's not, you know, stepping over picket lines. That's not being a scab or anything like that because they have a separate thing. These daytime shows have a separate agreement that they reached in 2022 at some point. But when it comes to who's writing, when it comes to who might be doing other things on the show, a lot of question marks surrounding it. And Hollywood is pissed that she's not standing with them. Actress Drew Barrymore is being slammed by fellow actors and writers on social media for bringing her talk show back amid the WGA and SAG after strikes in Hollywood. She was called gross, a scab, and incredibly disappointing. Barrymore announced the return of her show in a social media post on Sunday. Uh, I own this choice. We are in compliance with not discussing or promoting film and television that is struck of any kind. We launched live in a global pandemic. Our show was built for sensitive times and has only functioned through what the real world is going through in real time. Barrymore was quickly lambasted by members of her own industry on social media for her decision to bring her show back during the writer's strike. Oh, you own it for sure, Drew Barrymore, and will never forget it. And a, a September 11th reference on September 11th. Very bold uh, actor Bradley Whitford. Adam Conover, I can't stand this fucking bitch. This is incredibly disappointing. Drew Barrymore's show employs WGA writers who are currently on strike. She is choosing to go back on air without them and forcing her guest to cross a picket line. Drew, this harms your writers and all union workers. Please reconsider. Felicia Day, so who is writing her opening monologue and literally everything else on this show when it starts up again next week? Scab writers? Uh, gross, Drew Barrymore. Gross. And then one about her privilege. Drew Barrymore has always been someone who recognized her privilege and aimed to evolve, so I hope she'll recognize this hasty decision intended to pay her crew because it weakens both unions to openly endorse scabbing. She could personally fund their salaries for eternity. And you've got Josh Molina. You can't quite see this. We'll pull it up. It's just a picture of her that says scab on it. She's getting roasted by her own, by these people in Hollywood. And there's more controversy, too, because apparently some people that came there for a recording that were wearing WGA pins got kicked out. They weren't allowed to participate in her show. There's more uproar about that. But to be honest, this is what we knew would happen. Hollywood would start to turn on themselves. You know, it's tough to feel bad for Drew Barrymore getting a lot of heat for it when, you know, Drew Barrymore has done things like this on her platform, you know, get on her knees and celebrate Dylan Mulvaney's womanhood, things like this. But this is always what was going to happen. Will Hollywood will always turn on themselves. So now as Drew Barrymore says, hey, we're bringing this show back. We're going to do the show, even though the strikes are going on. We're going to try to comply with all these rules. Doesn't matter. She's being attacked relentlessly, and I don't know how many people are actually going to feel that bad for her. This is only just the beginning as more people start to do things again and more people get accused of being scabs and crossing picket lines and things like that. The woke Hollywood Actors and Writers Guild will continue to attack, attack, attack as most people just sit there and watch Hollywood burn. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.